The holiday season is here and Christmas is fast approaching. If you're like me, you're probably looking for some quick, simple gift ideas at the last minute. And a variety of hooks can make wonderful gifts for the people on your Christmas shopping list. So I've got a whole bunch of these pre-cut blanks provided by Roy and Jessica over at Blacksmithing Blanks. And I thought over the next few weeks we'd look at making up some of these hooks. I'm just going to do one in each video and see how many I can get done. He's got way more than I can get done in the next month. Today I thought we'd start with a Christmas tree hook. First thing we need to do is knock the slag left over from the cutting process off the back side so it's a nice clean blank to work with. This is pretty easily done with a cold chisel, but you could probably use a grinder or a wire wheel if you prefer. This seems like an ideal project to use Roy's treadle hammer on, and I'll go ahead and use that as much as I can on this project. Although the first thing I want to do is just lightly clean up the sharp edges on the hook part so that I don't have to worry about that after I'm all done working on the Christmas tree part. I'm also going to work in the induction forge for this because I can set it up right here and I don't have to go back and forth to the forge and I can do everything sitting right here in this stool. How lazy can you get? I'm going to start the tree by adding some texture to look like branches, and I'll just do that with a hot set. The next thing I'll do is use this little beading tool to add something that looks like garland or maybe a string of lights. Now it's just a matter of adding some things that look like Christmas ornaments. I'm going to use a little round eyeball punch and a little flower punch, but you can use whatever you happen to have or make tools specifically for this project. Cools off fast, so there's a lot of reheating. Just have fun with this and do whatever it is you think looks good. I think I'm going to go ahead and flatten that out a little bit so it sits on the wall nicely.
then a little bit of brass brush as it cools down into a black heat. We'll finish it up with a little bit of paste wax, but let's not forget to put a hole in it so we can hang it on the wall. And as always, I'll use a countersink just to knock the sharp edges off the hole. So that makes for a nice little hook. Idea for hanging your Christmas stocking on. For the mounting screw, I'm using a round head screw, and that stands up above the tree, kind of like a little Christmas ornament. And I think maybe going through and drilling a bunch of holes and setting rivets of different sizes might give a really interesting effect for ornaments. A lot more work than what we did, but it is an idea for you. If you'd like to see more about Roy's hooks, I have a playlist right here. Otherwise, you might enjoy this video down here. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.